Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Tech Ed here with another video for you. Um, got a little bit of a vlogging style video going on. I uh, don't have a whole lot of time. My kids are in the bed right now taking a nap. And as you may understand, if you're a father or a mother, um, that time is limited. And so I'm going to try and make this quick. I've got some cable management that I'm going to do under my desk right now. Figured I'd uh, bring you along for the ride and uh, let me head underneath and show you what I've got. All right, so welcome to the underside of my desk. Um, I've got a power supply here. Uh, what I wanna do is I wanna mount it underneath the desk just so I can try and get these cables up off the ground and out of sight. Uh, be a little neater for me, for anyone that comes to see the setup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just power this guy off. That way I don't electrocute myself. Uh, this is a monster, monster power brick. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 outlets. Some networking pass through, two USB ports for charging up devices like um, tablets or this has phone listed. It also has some cable pass-throughs um, in and out. So if my cable line wasn't quite long enough, I could use this to just extend that signal. And up top there, we have the power switch and a little, looks like LED notification on light, whatever that means. But anyway, we've got some mounting holes down here and all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this piece of paper i'm going to punch out some holes and come sort of make a template uh, use this template and then set it up here mount the holes drill the screws and hopefully get this guy up so let me go grab the screws and the drill and we'll get started all right thanks for joining back i apologize for the camera angle just understand that i'm under my desk and i have the camera propped up on the drill right now so just look over it you'll be all right uh, so i've got a piece of paper i'm just feeling where the holes are and i'll punch some holes So I've got my four, ouch, got my four holes punched. Now I'm just gonna take a marker or a pencil or a pen. Um, just gonna mark the four holes and then I'll show you the drilling process. So we'll be right back. I say we, but I really mean just being me and Bowser. So we'll be right back. All right, so I've got my four holes marked right there. We'll go ahead and screw those guys in. Say hi to Bowser, he's giving me a hand here. So the first screw can go on the drill. All right, we've got the drill, the screw on the drill. So I got that bad boy mounted up there. Um, now I'm just gonna figure out what to do with some of these wires. Uh, some of these are um, obtusely long. And so I'm just gonna take, take the extra zip tie them together and uh, get a couple of these guys organized. So I'll show you what it looks like when we get back. I'm not gonna put you through that torture. But I've gotten most of it tucked up and out of the way, um, except for this uh, power cord going to my computer. I'm gonna get some 
I'll do little conduit brackets and maybe run a few of those just to hold it up. Uh, but otherwise, I've got the cord to the power brick uh, that's plugged into the wall. Uh, so that's coming over here. I've got a few networking cables that are hanging down. Um, I plan on getting some new network cables, upgrading that to a uh, Cat 6 instead of the Cat 5e that I have. But uh, other than this, which I'll just get this out of the way for now, um, there are two external power bricks. I just took some Asus ROG cable tie, uh, they're like Velcro cable management. And I just uh, screw, screwed into those just to hold the power bricks up. And uh, that way they're not pulling on these cords, adding any weight. But the rest of it, I have uh, managed the cables, the loose ends. Uh, they are tied up just so they don't dangle down. But uh, let me scoot back a little bit. So yeah, this is this is a cable from up there. This is a network cable. I'm gonna get rid of that. But otherwise, the rest of it looks pretty good. Um, nothing I can really do about the cord going to the wall. But uh, that's a cable cord from the wall going into my router. Not really much I can do about that either. That's the only cable out in this room. So uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, let me pull those two cables up just so you can see what it looks like. All right, that is probably about as good as it'll get. Uh, power cable to the brick. Uh, cable to the computer, which I'm going to take care of, and uh, that looks a lot better than it did. So from from up here, from my point of view, uh, you really can't see anything. So that is what I'm going for. Next project is going to be just working on the cables up here on the desk. So, got a rat's nest of things back there. Um, each one of these has an H, this one has an HDMI cable. This one has a display port. I've got extra HDMI cables running to this splitter. That way I can switch between the PS4 and the computer. I've got a cable for this, cable for this, cable for this. So I might be going wireless peripherals here in the future. Not really sure. Then my speakers, my speakers have a whole bunch of cables as well. So what I might do is I might clean the cables from the front here and just make sure that none of those are visible behind those monitors. So. We'll see. Uh, that's another project for another day. And that wraps up the cable management in my office underneath my desk. So if you enjoyed that, if you uh, like those kinds of nitty gritty um, videos, then just let me know. Um, I've always got something going on in here. I've got another project that I'm working on with this compact computer. Um, I've got it up and running. It's running Windows 7 right now. I'm trying to upgrade it to Windows 10, but uh, there's uh, onboard graphics on that motherboard, which I haven't seen in a while in a desktop. And uh, it's not really playing too nicely with uh, graphics cards that are installed. So if you have any tips or tricks on that, uh, put it down below and let me know. Otherwise, Tech Ed here. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you in the next one.